Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Well, just when you thought things couldn't get any stupider. On Thursday, actress Emily Ratajkowski posed semi-naked for some photos that she shared on Instagram, where she then decried the 25 old white men who approved Alabama's HB 314, a bill that essentially bans uh, abortion even in the event of rape and incest. Now, Emily did keep an arm across her chest and positioned a pink flower on her vagina. Oh God, no. An attractive actress posed for a semi-nude selfie. I can't stand it. Please, turn it off. Oh, I must change this law or vote against the bill. Otherwise, hot women will send me naked selfies. Please, make it stop. What are you fracking, retarded? Actually, you know, scratch that, because this lunacy gives retarded people a really bad name. What precisely do you think you're accomplishing here? I mean, I've seen this lunacy before, actually, among libertarian women who go to states where topless women are legal in public, and then they wander around with their boombas out with picket signs accomplishing precisely dick. Do you really think that the most pressing issue today is whether you can show your boombas in public? I mean, seriously. So in the immortal words of Ricky Ricardo, let me explain something to you, Emily. These abortion laws aren't seen by those who pass them as anti-woman. They're not being prudes or puritans. See, like it or not, they think that abortion is the same as killing babies. Now, you may not agree with them, but that's what they think. In their minds, they're not trying to squash your rights, they're trying to save babies' lives. Now, you may not agree with them, but that's what they think. When your reaction to an abortion law is to post se nude selfies to Instagram, they could care less. Do you think that men have never seen women naked before, Emily? Hell, in doing research for this video, I came across a boatload of naked pics of you, most of which were taken professionally. You think men can't find naked pics of you, Emily, to use as whacking material? Seriously? Nobody cares about your naked pics. Nobody's trying to stop you from taking naked pics and posting them in public. Oh, sure, it's an incredibly stupid reaction, and it probably makes them wonder if you should frankly be allowed to vote. But then again, if you, they took away your right to vote, you'd probably make free porn. In what universe does taking naked selfies and posting them on Instagram in response to an abortion law make sense? What the frack are, do you think you are accomplishing, other than making anyone who voted or signed this into law think that they did the right thing because you've done something so utterly and completely senseless? So here's a thought, okay? Put your clothes back on, and for that matter, eat a sandwich, because looking at your pics, you've got to be anorexic. Then invest in about 100 bucks worth of equipment, and absolutely nothing in software, and start making videos where you talk about the issues. Hell, I'll even tell you what hardware and software you need. Just call me. So that's all I really have to say about that subject for today. So thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. I'd love to see what you have to say. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would certainly appreciate your support, either via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, or a place on my website where you can support me further, and there are links to all of those in my description box below. So thanks for watching Tales from SYL Ranch, and remember, for a breath of fresh air, Watch Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. <laughs> Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.